last semester at my classroom class, I was assigned to a random group. The professor has randomly created these groups, and he wants to give us the experience of having real-world experience. The only difference about this project it was the what the grade of this project went heavily towards the, the class grade. Because I have done that sort of projects before in school and other classes. But in particular classes, the grade was the most important thing. So like any other task, we got together and we divided the task into minor tasks. So I did, for instance, part number one, somebody will do part number two, and so forth. In a blink of an eye, the time when we were supposed to hear from the grade from the professor arrived. I remember I was actually waiting for him, and he walked into the room, and he told to everybody, I have bad news. Four out of the five groups have done pleasures. Instantaneously, I felt cold sweat. <laughs> I wondered who dared to do this, who, who of my classmates dared to betray our trust, who, who, who cheated, who cheated on us. Obviously, Everybody in this room has experienced similar circumstances. Someone that failed to deliver whatever they promised to deliver. Someone who didn't present their deliverables. So the million moral question is, how can we avoid circumstances like that? Well, I'm going to tell you three points that all point towards the same, or all conduce towards the same answer. Fifteen years ago, an American in Pakistan had a project to be open a school in a foreign country where he didn't speak the language or he n never lived in that country, but he had that desire. The problem was that he didn't have any money at all. He didn't have connections, but he wanted to do that. Fifteen years later, Greg Mortison has built over 78 schools. In a development center for women, he has benefited almost 50,000 students. It is being said that he has done more than the mighty uh, American diplomatic, mm -hmm. diplomatic mission in Pakistan than, than uh, anyone else. And how he was able to achieve such an accomplishment? Well, in the first area where he started building his school, his first school, in the Baltistan area of Pakistan, the northern part of Pakistan, close to the Afghan border, there's a bad proverb that says, the first time that you drink a cup of tea with a bad tea, you are a stranger. The second time, you are an honored guest. And the third time, you are part of the family. In short, what Greg did, he built the trust among the people in Pakistan and the United States, and then long-lasting relationships. Long-lasting relationships with both cultures. In a similar way, in China, if you want to do business in China, you might have you might have heard of the term guanxi. Guanxi in Chinese, in Mandarin Chinese, means relationship. But it's the different type of relationship that we are used to. Here in the United States, we can build a relationship through a, a lunch, a quick meal, and you can start doing business. <laughs> you can talk about business. Over there, you need to build a long-term relationship. Personal level relationship cannot be a corporate level relationship. And once you start doing that, it, it needs uh, time and money for you to, to really get to know the other person. You need to go to many lunches, attend events in conjunction, and then you're going to feel that you know this person. You're going to know where to uh, try with this person. And once you feel that you can trust this person, and then you can start talking about business. According to Forrest Madeline, millionaire, uh, um, millionaire Lin Kanshin, the richest or the wealthiest man in Southeast Asia, has built his fortune building on uh, Guanxi, playing the Guanxi game. But playing the Guanxi game, it is imperative in China, but in a similar way in Pakistan or in South America or even in the United States, you need to have relationships. Have trust. In fact, according to Abraham Maslow, the father of the humanistic psychology, places trust 
at the fundamental level of his hierarchy of human needs. And we all know, we all know that. We know that it doesn't matter where you come from, what uh, is your religious belief, what uh, race you are, but all, we all have the same needs. We all have the feeling to feel loved, to love, to be accepted, for security, and so forth. So, if, 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 you, if you know that, if you have employees under your management, or you are thinking to do business with someone, I will strongly recommend to have at least three cups of tea with that person and get to know that person well. <laughs> and in the long term, the benefits that you're going to get for that small investment are going to be worthwhile. And unfortunately, that day, my group was not one of the budgeters. Thank you. <laughs>